Hey, I'm Angry Bill, this is Pre-Hospital Wisdom. I want to talk to you about the concept of the ABCs. There's a second half to that. ABC, of course, stands for Airway Breathing Circulation. Second half of it is Rate Rhythm Pressure. So the whole concept goes ABC, Rate Rhythm Pressure. Think about caring for your patients in that way. ABC, Rate Rhythm Pressure. You've got to fix the rate first, then fix the rhythm, then deal with the blood pressure. That's how it rolls. So consider this patient uh, here in a wide complex tack at a rate of 200. Uh, pressure's low, pressure's like really hard to get, maybe 70 systolic. The patient's awake though, um, just kind of absolutely not feeling well, maybe a little bit of chest pain. Rate of 220, pressure 70. So if I wanna raise that pressure, uh, I have different options, uh, different things that I can do. The way that it's gonna work out best for me and actually best for the patient is if I take it in order of rate, rhythm, pressure. Now, can I raise that pressure by giving a fluid bolus? Absolutely. Does that make sense? Is that what's going on? Is the patient hypovolemic? Fluid will raise that blood pressure, or a presser will raise that blood pressure. That's not what the patient needs. Fix the rate first, slow that rate. Think about how I can slow that rate with a blood pressure of 70 and a heart rate of 220. That's right, in this case, it's electricity, but there's other medication effects. Fix the rate first then fix the rhythm, then fix the blood pressure. Fix the blood pressure last. Delay fluid boluses until you fix the other two. Delay pressors until you fix the other two. That's how you should be looking at ABC rate rhythm pressure. So I need to get the rate down to kind of between 50 and 120, uh, down to a more normal range. If I start pouring fluids or pressors or stuff like that into a patient before the rate's normal, then when the rate does go to normal, now I've overshot my landing. So fix the rate first. How am I gonna fix the rate in this patient? Probably cardioversion. There's medication options if you uh, are feeling especially. There's medication options. Let's leave it at that. Here's another example. This is a mid 70s male with chest pain. Uh, STEMI's kind of obvious, right? Uh, he's also got a pressure of like, again, 70 over 40. That MAP is not high enough, that diastolic is not high enough to perfuse the coronary arteries. That blood pressure's too low, right? Now, granted, I don't wanna increase the workload on the STEMI, but you need a minimum blood pressure. We gotta bring this up, right? What do you think, some fluid? Some fluid gonna do it? What's fluid going to do to that sick heart? How's it going to help that? I need to bump the rate up to that normal range. Fix the rate first. Tetraatropine in this case goes a long way. Let's get that rate up a little bit. Let's get that pressure up a little bit. Once I start getting to a mean arterial pressure of, you know, 65 or so, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not looking for a rate of 90 and a blood pressure 120 over 80. That's not what I'm talking about in this case. I just need it up a little bit higher than it is. And the best way for me to do that is to follow the rate rhythm pressure rule. Don't fix the pressure straight off. Fix the rate first, fix the rhythm second, fix the blood pressure third. This whole concept came from a good friend of mine uh, that says it all the time. She's one of the best medics I know and she's smart about it. Uh, and it's actually a really, really wise thing. Fix the rate, fix the rhythm, then fix the pressure. ABC, rate, rhythm, pressure, it's the way to go. Don't be giving fluid boluses when you don't need to, or, or at least before you fix the other two. You gotta normalize the rate, normalize the rhythm, and then you can fix the blood pressure. Fluid depressors too early are gonna cause you problems. This is Angry Bill for Pre-Hospital Wisdom. Until next time, stay safe.